All right, are you are you ready to give it a shot? Yep, I'm good. Okay. What do I say? <laughs> That's the <laughs> <a> question. We <laughs> too nervous. What do I say? Are that nerves are getting to me? Well, I have a good idea. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Garrulous64, and welcome to the Lucky Cast, featuring the Lucky Coin Trio, Dave Ace. Hello. And Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles, or Frank. I'm gonna say Frank because that's like 10 less syllables. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Alright. Hey. Uh, so, if you're wondering what this is, Lucky Cast is basically a reincarnation of our old podcast, the Coin Cast, that existed for maybe 20 minutes. Uh, we would be like, hey, we're gonna start a podcast and keep up with it weekly, and that didn't happen. It, it probably, what did you say, we got like two episodes in and then we, we, we called it quits? Yeah, and then yeah. afterwards, it was, it was the equivalent of, hey, we'll we'll see you next time, okay? Has been offline for four years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Left it unread. hasn't been four years. <laughs> but, uh, so basically what we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to talk about whatever. We're going to have like a little bit of time at the beginning of each thing where we talk about current events going on, mostly gaming. I don't know if there's anything else. Like, I mean, you can tell stories about what you've been up to as well if you want. Uh, Let and... me get it to some politics. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We will not <laughs> we do disconnect that. Disconnect it. <laughs> Please don't. But uh, <laughs> then after that segment, we are going to get into a like theme for that episode or like a discussion that we had pre-established before the episode began. And uh, occasionally we might have guests. Not every single time, but you know, like once in a while, we might pull in one of our friends just to hang out. And uh, yeah. it'll be fun. If you want to see more of that, let us know. I know the, it just started, and we don't even know if it was good yet. But I want to see more. <laughs> I come from the future. It was great. <laughs> oh, I wow. come from the future? No uh, pressure. Yeah. No, no pressure. Oh, great. Yeah, no. You telling us it's great <laughs> means that it's going to bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, you're doing great. You've um, changed the timeline. <laughs> right. But, um, For the better. For the yeah. better. So, uh, <laughs> so, I mean, right now in the, the gaming world, it's, things are a little weird because, uh, you know, we have, we've got console launches happening right now. Like PS5 and Xbox One X Series X S, whatever the fuck it's called, is happening. Uh, I don't have a, a whole lot of investment in that, but... We got a little both. <laughs> you know, Frank wanted to talk a little bit about that, and I'm definitely game to hear what you got to say. Yeah. Well... Really, one of the biggest reasons that I did want to talk about it is because on top of the fact that, well, I don't think anyone's really going to get their console because they, didn't they sell it like really fast? Yeah. Yes. No. They were, they were all gone too. within seconds. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just like my, the, my uh, RTX 3080. Those, that was gone before I even saw ooh. it. I've seen a video. You know what? Um, a little, little tangent off that one. I actually did see a video where um, there were, I think, two or three people trying to wait in line at a at a micro center to get a 3070 or a 3080 and apparently there were two different lines one of them that went into the hundreds actually no they both went into the hundreds but it was like oh for the 3070 um there's a chance you'll get one and eventually like a lot of them did and then mm. for the 3080 and 3090 it's like you might not get it oh i thought you were gonna say they were lining up and they were killed <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna say they were lining up and they got thrown out <laughs> two different places we were going with that but i assume the xbox and ps4 gathering process has probably been a bit like that yeah it's probably a little bit more chaotic Maybe, than that it, you know it, a bunch it, of angry probably. consumers yeah i've seen one person uh one mutual of mine with the uh the xbox series s like mm. they were just taking it home in the car, and that is the only one I've seen in my entire timeline. <laughs> I have another friend who got the X recently, and he's pretty happy with it. Yeah, because yeah. uh, I mean, I know for at least the people who are watching this and finding it through us, uh, your biggest investment in that might be the fact that Sonic Unleashed is actually running really well on the Xbox <laughs> yeah. Series X. You might even get um, All Stars Racing Transformed to run pretty well because Ooh. I'm assuming the backwards compatibility is for like everything. That's supported on Xbox One. That is a great mm -hmm. point. Oh my god. Yeah. But also, you can play it really well on PC already. So who cares? Yeah, you can bump into something and go backwards at the at top speed. I remember <laughs> that. It, that, game, the, uh, that game is... The online on that game is so buggy, it's beautiful. Does online it still work on the new console? Um, uh, it should. 
Maybe I don't know. I haven't. I mean, I, I haven't I have, owned it for the Xbox, so <laughs> I haven't heard anything of those servers going down. So it should still be able to run. I mean, if they're gonna, if they're gonna advertise backwards compatibility, then it might be peer to peer. There's a reason for it to run, possibly. Yeah. It might be a peer to peer connection. I don't know. It'd be cool. I, I'd say just play it on PC because I mean, like, there's more stuff going for it, and it's always been running well. Like, and it's always on sale. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, just play oh, Sonic yeah. Unleashed on PC as well. Just grab the, you know, the, the Unleashed project for generations, and it, it's always run 60 <laughs> FPS. You know, we didn't need to wait. Don't uh, let Sonic on. Don't didn't let need to wait 13 years, right? You know, like <laughs> the Werehog is not that bad. You can finally the play Werehog. Sonic Unleashed at a full 30 FPS on console. Congratulations! I've been playing it at 60 FPS for years. All it took was <laughs> two years. <laughs> And Prime Uta Remy has been <laughs> playing it for I mean, quite a while in 4K60, more than likely. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is it, that PS3 emulator they've gotten to get nearly com um, consistent 60 FPS? Yeah. yeah. They got, no, they got cool. really close to it, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'll but just stick man, to the Unleashed project. That, that's that's all a I lot need. about Son That says a lot about Sonic Unleashed itself. Yeah, yeah. No, that, yeah. That I mean, it was a very heavy. Yeah, it was a very heavy on resources. Yeah, um, beautiful game, graphically just amazing. It's probably still the best looking Sonic game. Oh yeah, for sure. As much as I don't like the gameplay very much for ninety percent of it, uh, I will same. admit that it is a very nice looking <laughs> game, and it's kind of the same way I feel about Forces. Like I don't like the gameplay, and I'm not comparing the visuals to Unleashed because. Forces still looks like garbage compared to Unleashed, but, <laughs> like, <laughs> those two games, very good looking, not very yeah. fun to play. Yeah. But, um, speaking of Sonic, since we're on that tangent, I don't know how important or not important this is at all, but, um, do you guys know the Lonely Goomba? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, well, I'm I don't know him, though, but I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I follow him on Twitter, and he posted, like, a picture of... Um, Frank, you might know something about this, because you like Zombies Ate My Neighbors, right? <clears throat> Hell yeah! Oh, wait, I know what you're about to talk about. Yeah. Oh! There's a, there's a game called Demons Ate My Neighbors, made by... The, the Twitter account's just called At Watch. And they just, like, they posted some thing that the Lonely Goomba shared, and it says, uh... Just had a good meeting today with some kind folks, and things are happening! Oh man, might want to play some Sonic Mania later. And then, under that post, it says, Yes, this is a hint. And... Yeah. I don't know who that company is. I want to have any affiliation with anything. I want to kind of add but... on to this, it, and um, it kind of even more spiraled it off into it maybe possibly being a Sonic thing. T Lopes around that same time tweeted out saying that man, you wouldn't believe what I just signed. Yeah, and he also I have that here too, and he says the hardest piece to write for any video game is that short ass title screen theme you skip all the time and I felt personally attacked by that because I've skipped Mania's <laughs> hold on, hold title on. screen a million times. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You skip Sonic Mania's title screen? Frank, after you had played the every day for two guy. years straight, let, let, like, don't let's you want to just get to the game? <laughs> Alright, let, let, let's get into this. Skipping Sonic Mania's theme, um, the heresy that I'm hearing right now. Frank, uh, Frank <laughs> you, you did the same thing I did for years. And you're telling me you watched the intro every single time you didn't dev menu Can't past. Can't believe this guy. Can't believe this there, man. There's, there, there's probably video evidence of me skipping the intro. There's but no again. way you watched it every time. I don't want to hear it. It's not like I skipped the Beastars intro. Like you can't skip that. Wait, skip the what? Beastars. The uh, that uh, it's um, <laughs> it's a weird. You haven't watched it. It's this anime about like. It's very hard to describe, but the, the, I will show you the intro, and Dylan you'll see and why you can't anime. actually skip it because it's very good. I mean, you can't skip anime intros. That's the best. That's one of the best parts about it. About yeah. anime. Yeah, dude, I don't watch anime. I just watch the intros. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, I've just the I saw only this thing post, that matters. You know, like late last night, and I was like, I don't know who these people are that are, are making this comment about Sonic Mania. I don't know if I should be excited about this. But it was something uh, that a lot of people were latching onto and getting very excited about. So, well, I, so I'm at least curious. I think uh, Lonely Goomba uh, afterwards said that it was more than likely just the title theme for uh, Demons Ate My Neighbors. Mm -hmm. It's possible because that game's so, coming out in 2021, right? Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, I mean, again, it could possibly be something like a Mania 2, but since that game is coming out in 2021... 
and just looking at it, it, it could be possible that they're talking... I don't know. Maybe it is Sega related and Sega might be publishing it for them. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, you know, on the flip side, it could be like if these two sets of posts are related, it could just be T-Lopes making the music for that game. Yeah. Yeah, it, it could be, which will be interesting. I think he's I already mean, com- I think he's already confirmed that he was doing the music for that game. I mean, what we could do, I mean, we'll eventually see what his range is when it comes to something like Demon's Hate My Neighbors because I think that was just like a lot of dark and kind of like uh, horror themed music that was but it was like very catchy music that was in the Zombies Ate My Neighbors and uh, what people don't know is that that game had a sequel called Ghoul Patrol mm-hmm. also on the Super Nintendo but it's like it'll be interesting to see how he tackles something like Demons Ate My Neighbors uh, I'm not sure what to expect from it all I know is that I'm probably one of a few people who don't really want to start throwing out the idea of Mania 2 because that's it just seems too early for something like that and on top of that it's been three years. It's been about three years. Yeah, but would you want them to, like, do the same thing again? Yes! Because it worked and it was good! <laughs> if they're if ever going to make if, a if Mania got, 2, if, if a Mania 2 is on the table, it has to have original levels. I don't want to replay it, anything else. Y- yes, if it has That's original I levels, I, I will be happy with that. If it's got, like, re- recycled levels and zones and stuff, I'm going to be sad. Even if they took it and they flipped it on its side where it was mostly original and then, like, four returning zones i'd be okay with that like as long as it's more original than returning. yeah if it's more original than returning like it was with the first game then sure i'm open to it and if this if this is a real thing can the devs just make the game a little bit harder (laughs) i'm just saying you know sometimes i'll I'll hit a spring i'll hold down and it just feels like the level's playing itself (laughs) (laughs) it does kind of feel like that after a while yeah there was a leak for something called pokemon master Oh, yeah, I saw that too. I don't know how legitimate this is because seeing the information on it kind of got me really mad. Yeah, it's Uh, just 3D All-Stars again, except more annoying. Pokemon Red, Pokemon Gold, and Pokemon Ruby all being, like, updated. I'm guessing just giving them online functionality. That's what I saw, yeah, online stuff. I'm just like, okay, so you have Pokemon Red, Gold, and Ruby, but you don't have Blue, Yellow, uh, Silver, Crystal... Why uh, not do a collection emerald. of the three you are, good versions? That, that, is, that, is a, that is a third of the games. Do yellow, crystal, and emerald. Why would you not do that? Why not just do all nine of them? That Give might be asking. Exactly what is this again? Much. Yeah, it's, I'm asking Nintendo too much. It's a it's a a leak for a game called like Pokemon Master for the Switch, and it's uh-huh. three different Pokemon games, but it's not the three people were expecting. Like now it's here's the now here's the thing again. I do, I don't know exactly how real this is. The, this is the only thing like that caught me off guard was because I thought there was like a, a mobile game called Pokemon Masters that just came out like a couple it has of months one of the most ago. Unfortunate out hashtags out. ever. Yep, Pokemon Poke- Masters Poke- EX. Uh, Pokemon Masters oh, EX. Oh yeah, is one yeah, of the most I forgot unfortunate... about that one. It's got one of the most unfortunate hashtags ever. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> good job, Nintendo. That's that someone was not thinking that through. Nope. But, they they, uh, they didn't they didn't realize it until they saw it trending. They're like, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> I am fired. I am. Oh god, <laughs> what did we do? Also, but the thing about that leak though, like I'm if it is real, that's it. That, uh, it's cool, I guess. But also, you know, fire red and leaf green are a lot better than the original versions. And also, I don't want to play the inferior ones i would rather play the ones that encompass everything you know like i'm not gonna play ruby when i could be playing emerald yeah now i don't think there's i i know i brought it up and saying like oh that i saw this but i really just don't believe it you know yeah it was just something i brought up because the thing is it was like oh this is cool i'm like that's a third of the games there's something wrong here and if anyone says green uh japanese green it's like the same catchable pokemon are in blue so (laughs) in american blue so whatever uh, the only ones, and even then, Japan would be me- missing out even more because their Pokemon Blue is so different. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it really cool. It's, if they do it, I'm thinking they just haven't listed like they didn't get a leak listing for like the three separate versions. Like they're gonna have like the red version, the blue version, and then like the special version where it's like the ones people actually want to buy. So it's gonna be like yellow, crystal, and emerald, God, I, and like honestly. the other two, we're not gonna sell any copies at all. That's, that's a well no I mean, well my thing is that I don't want that to exist 
like in that way because that's so many games that are just being probably going to be put up for $60 known yep. Nintendo. Yeah. They've never heard of a $40 game in their life. Well, Nintendo is the apple of the gaming industry. They sell for the name. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you pay that you pay that Nintendo tax and then they if you don't, they go right back into the Nintendo vault. Yep, forever. You know, forever. Actually, though, Three RPGs like that, though, I feel like that's a little bit more of a sixty dollars value than yeah, it kind of maybe three it, platformers. Kind of justified because I mean, like maybe again, I don't know. Nintendo's I mean, Nintendo again is the Apple of the until game you industry. find out what they go for. Um, until you find out what they go for on like virtual console, Pokemon uh, Red, Pokemon Gold, those are ten. Those are those are ten dollars. <laughs> free, free. <laughs> Like I mean, Pokemon Red and Go Pokemon Red and Gold are ten dollars each on 3DS, and Game Boy Advance games go for, I believe, ten dollars on the Wii U eShop. So yeah, and those ones that's, on 3DS that's, that's are 30... already upgraded, so like, yeah. it's so... really not a good value. I but I mean, if they were released GBA games, that's I mean, they've not really done that before. I mean, actually, yes, yes, they have on the Wii U. We yeah, Wii U. yeah, the Wii U, which but they didn't 3DS, release Pokemon. 3DS, did they? if you bought it. 3DS, if you bought it on launch, no, they never did. Uh, only the Game Boy, Game Boy Color games were re-released on. Uh, 3DS and they had like minor changes yeah. for like animations See, and also Jinx because Jinx. If they put, <laughs> if they ported those versions to the Switch and put those in the collection, that's that's kind of cool. Like I'm I'm okay with that. It's just I'm probably not going to play uh, Red again. I, I would much rather play Crystal because I, I haven't played it very much or Emerald um, if, or the was, DS if, ones. If, Bring the DS ones back. I will play. I would if, buy that in a heartbeat. If, if, if it was something where it's like, oh, this is a more, if it was a more reasonable collection that were to exist, and it'd be like, yeah, I'd probably play all those games. <laughs> I mean, of the three of us, I, I love Pokemon the most. Probably. All right. So this uh, this next section we're gonna get into now is uh, basically the main topic that we wanted to bring up today. And uh, it could really be anything. It's like we're going to decide on it before it starts, and then we're just going to talk for as long as it goes, and that's pretty much the whole thing. But uh, okay. I thought today would be fun if... Uh, I don't know where this topic came from. I was just thinking about games that I wish would come back, but I was thinking we talk about um, if we could, if we were in charge of something, or are we in the position of power where we could do this, what game series would you resurrect, and how, what would you do with it? You know, and obviously my first thought is, to, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, there's this one series out there called Sonic the Hedgehog. It's been, it's been kind of dormant <laughs> for a while. You're right. Uh, You're I was right. thinking maybe we take it and we make a good game. Yeah, uh, that'd We be got a good game. We got Sonic 2 on the Switch earlier this year. Oh, yeah, I know, but it's not really a revival, you know, it's kind of like a... I'm, I'm just kidding, but all right. So who no, wants no, to, no, 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 we, we got go Crash first? Bandicoot 4. We got Crash Bandicoot 4, everybody. True. It's, it's okay. True. It's okay. That's true. It was a good Sonic game. He was. <laughs> oh, he's he's best Sonic. Best All right. Sonic. All right, who wants um, to go first? Anybody want to take it? Well, um, Ooh, it's funny because when, when we talked about this, I actually had a few ideas, but every mm -hmm. time I thought about it, it was like, damn it, that game already exists. Yeah? Like we were talking about earlier, um, I do love Zombies Hate My Neighbors. It's one of my favorite games uh, on Super Nintendo. Genesis version is not that great when it comes to sound, but it's still a fine version of the game. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, man, I would love to see, like, an HD version of this game or something new with it. Yeah, a spiritual successor, Demons Ate My Neighbors. Like, damn, that already exists. <laughs> an another one. Um, oh, go ahead. Uh, you could still talk about, like, what you would do. I mean, it's yeah. not technically the official series, so, like... I'm not sure if I would really want the twin-stick shooter thing. <laughs> but that that's most that might just be, like, how I feel because of how nostalgic the original game is to me but mm -hmm. um, I'm still really excited to see what they do with it. The other one, um, another series that I had in mind, but again, they've already made new games for it, uh, Monster World. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, the yeah. most recent time the most recent time I streamed Monster World 4, I actually did kind of rage quit because I had some horrible input delay with my controller. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will be using my wireless controller for some reason. It doesn't have to do with input delay. Anyways. How, how does uh, that work? Your wired I, controller I had input delay, but the wireless I one doesn't? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a really good wireless controller. Maybe I just got a really bad wired controller. Maybe. Sega, get on that one. No, I'm just kidding. Sega. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the Genesis Mini, so that's why. Yeah, okay. Uh, anyways, um, and I was thinking, like, oh, man, it'd be so cool. What I didn't know at the time is that there were already new Monster World uh, and Monster Boy, Wonder Boy, whatever. They had, like, so many different names. Yeah. There were already new games coming out. Uh, Wonder Boy 3 had a remake. 
um, there is a new, a brand new Monster World game, or, uh, yeah, I think it was like Monster, oh, I don't remember the full name of it, <laughs> but it had this really cool animated intro, and I actually bought it on Switch a few months ago, and was like, damn, okay, so we got an, alright, so, a remake, a new game, uh, it'd be really cool if we, oh, and, uh, Monster World 4 is getting a, a remake itself, not a great looking one, but it's getting one, it's like, okay, well that eliminates that one. Um, I would just, I have like an easy answer. Golden Sun, release the first two games on the Switch, or all three of them, to kind of uh, see whether or not people would be interested in like either some new games or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Yeah. Like I, uh, I played a little bit of Golden Sun. I bought both of them for GBA a while back because I was trying to like flesh out my GBA collection. And um, I played through a ton of Golden Sun 1 because I had already played the DS one and I thought it was cool. Oh, and, yeah. And um, I, I got to this part where I was fighting like a manticore or something in a desert and I couldn't beat it, so I stopped playing it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have to go back to that someday, but that was I, a lot I've of fun. Played, I've played Dark Dawn and I got to a point where I, um, I think for a while I had to stop playing and then I came back to him and was like, I don't remember what to do next. Who and are these that's people? Usually, that's usually what ends things for RPGs uh, yeah. for me. Yeah. Because you gotta like, either play... restart or you gotta figure out what you were doing. Yeah, and I'm just like, I don't want to look up a walkthrough. I I'm, yeah. know I'm probably at the end of the game. I'll just restart and then I don't play it anymore. Uh, since then, I actually did buy the first two games on GBA. So at some point, I will put those in my DS and I will start playing them because I have a D uh, the original DS. The thing that freaked me out about most about Dark Dawn was that you play as Isaac's son and suddenly Isaac can speak. And I was like, who, who are you? You're a silent protagonist. You can't do that. As, that's like if you go to go up to Red in Pokemon, like, uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and he's like, sup? Yeah. Oh, God, like, that does not be right. I mean, I, I feel guess, very uneasy. Doesn't he talk? Does he talk in, um, in, uh, what, what? Was like is Pokemon it Sun White Moon or something? Or that he like, shows or up again? Moon. The Gary and yeah, him he, show up? Yeah, he, he shows up again or in Blue? Sun and Moon, but I don't know if he speaks. I never got to that point in the game Remember. because I wasn't a fan of, Sun, uh, of Gen 7. I know Blue <laughs> talks because he was in my version. Yeah, he always talks. He's a, he was a shithead. I, I love him. <laughs> oh, back when rivals could be assholes. I love him. He's one of my favorite rivals aside from Silver. You gotta Silver. be family friendly, Frank. <laughs> that is not true. Have you not heard Dylan for like the past like twenty minutes? Yeah, what are you no, talking I'm about? No, talk, I'm in reference to the rivals. You, rivals uh, can't say I hate you I anymore. I thought you were saying me. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know what? Just because I said no. asshole once? No, no. Pokemon's taking the friendly route. <laughs> oh, good oh, job! You beat me, but you know you, you're doing good. <laughs> oh, you beat me! I'm gonna hit you! I'm gonna hit you real hard! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you! <laughs> it's just like the anime. It's going the same way. Everyone's just way too positive. You need somebody to be a complete dick to someone. Yeah. So that way it pushes them harder, and they and you know they start doing better, and it it just turn it just makes this, the story a little bit better, you know. Mm -hmm. Instead of we're all there for each other, we're all, <laughs> friends, <instead> of, right? <laughs> it's the central theme of a lot of RPGs. What would you uh if you could if you could like give Golden Sun a whole new thing though, Frank? What would you do with it? Like, what would you like? Would you like, is there any crazy gimmick or, like, new selling point you would toss in there? I would need a little bit more time to think about that one. I didn't think that went through. I'm just like, uh... <laughs> That's why I gave you the topic for, early. <laughs> we released the game to make a remake of them where, um... Oh, I, I've heard this because I've seen some Golden Sun discussion videos. Uh, a friend of mine has shared a few with me. And they always refer to something called Golden Sun HD. And then when I look more into it, it's like, oh, they're speculating that if... This was a real thing. Take the first two games and actually combine them like they were meant to be. Mm. And mm. yeah, yeah, something, something, Sonic Three and Knuckles. But this one is like um, <laughs> lock on technology. <laughs> lock yeah. on. Yeah, Game Boy Advance didn't have lock on technology, so it was like two actual complete games. Mm. What, like, I would say if you were to do like a Golden Sun HD, take those first two games, put them together, it tells a complete story. Yeah. yeah. I like that. That'd be fun. Like, kind of reimagine it to be what it should have been. That's something. Say you did, you or did figure it out. That's good. Go above yeah. and beyond. Have the full combined story, and then maybe if you want to play them separately as they were originally released, have that as a separate option. Mm. Cool. 
Yeah, like, maybe even include just, like, the classic ROMs on there, too, so you can play just the exactly. originals. That'd be cool. Yeah, and Nintendo, uh, unless it's NES, they're pretty good about emulation on their official systems. I don't want to talk about it. Nintendo and, and emulation. And, <laughs> I don't want NES emulation's kind of, like, so-so. Like, you'll have some graphical glitches. I've had a few, too many of those playing Super Mario Brothers, which should be the easiest thing. I don't want to open. <laughs> Fire no, Emblem. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Mario 3D All Stars. No, I'm no he <laughs> or does it hurt? The, the 3D, the 3D All Stars. Is that it? I'm changing. Limited I feel release. my brain <laughs> getting angry. Oh no! <laughs> All right, before that happens, David, please don't get me angry. Tell us you won't you like thinking. you won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Dave, please. What what are All your right, ideas you for the future? My ideas for the future is making better emulation for Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. MGBA for the Switch. <laughs> I take that. I would take that oh. too. You know what? I'll, I'll I'll tell you guys when we're done with this whole segment. I got to remember to write it down. Okay. 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 Write that down. Secrets. Um, <laughs> so a dead franchise that I'd bring back. I have a list of them here, but I'll probably just choose one of them. Yeah, sure. Uh, honestly, I've been, I've been missing Ape Escape. Ooh. Not sure if you guys played Ape Escape, but I've been missing that for a bit. Just a little bit. I, I've, I've um, heard the name before. Yeah. Well, it's about okay. So basically, it's a, uh, it's a game where you go around and you have to capture monkeys. It, it's this is basically Monkey. it. You gotta capture the monkeys. They're they're like super smart. And like they have all personalities, they have different personalities that you can like scan with your binoculars. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really loony game, and I think it's really funny. Uh, I, I didn't get to play all three of them. I played one and two mm -hmm. uh, because I think three was PS3 exclusive. And I think there's actually some more on like the PSP and the Vita as well. Yeah, there were a couple on the PSP. I think they did a remake on the PSP, and then they did one for Vita. Um, and then they did a PlayStation Move one, and I think that was the last one that they did. PlayStation um, Move. <laughs> <laughs> but within recent, like, trends of games coming back, such as Spyro Crash, Tony Hawk now. Um, yeah. I really think that Activision put together a formula that's perfect if you want to revive a franchise. Um, obviously, as Frank was saying... How I would do it, I would say remake the the first three, the trilogy, um, and put it out. See if there's any interest because I know that, that there's probably still a lot of interest. Oh yeah, um, people they, are clamoring they, for they've it. Done it. They've done it before. And, and like, it's funny it because ideas. they have so many different jokes that they like. One of them, I think, was the third one. They did like a Metal Gear Solid kind of joke. I've seen it. that. Um, and <laughs> it's it's that. literally just you playing as a monkey. And you're going through this Metal Gear Solid setup stage, like you, you're doing. That's you're literally so playing good. Metal Gear Solid within that. the game. I'll, I'll find it after Frank, and I'll show you. But like, he even like meets Snake, I think. And like, yeah, a yeah. Cutscene with Snake. It's really it's, it's, good. It's funny. Oh, I think that might be like a hurdle that they'd have to go over. Probably. Yeah. There's a chance um, because they'd have to go through either Konami, Konami or yeah. I, yeah. yeah they probably wouldn't Konami. be able to do that again, honestly. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, there's always a, there's did, always a chance. Did I mean. Konami own that before? Is that why? They uh, were able to it do that? might have been Konami's property, and that's why they did it. I'm not too certain. I don't know. I actually never. Uh, I, I never really looked one. into I can, it. I can check. I, uh, uh, which game um, is this? Ape, Ape Escape. Escape. One, or just Ape Escape? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Actually, Ape Hudson? Escape. Is it Hudson? Uh, no. Because Hudson Publishers, owns, uh, yeah. Um, Sony Computer Entertainment, Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Wait, yeah. oh, wait, that's that's for the series. Uh, oh, wait, original yeah, game. Sony Computer Entertainment developer SCE Japan Studios. Yeah, SCE Japan Studios. What about the one huh. with the me the Metal Gear Solid thing? Is that like? Uh, is that, I don't that know? would like, be Ape Escape Three. Ape Escape Three. Oh, Ape Escape Three was for the PlayStation Two. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was the, same, okay. That's weird. same publisher, same developers. Huh, I, maybe I maybe they just landed 3, a deal with bad. Konami though. Uh, Oh, it even talks about it. Oh, I didn't know there was a racing game for Ape Escape. I didn't Japan know that only. either. Measle Gear <laughs> Solid. 
Me is Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater includes a snake versus monkey mode in which snake has to capture monkeys. That is amazing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I need to play Metal Gear Solid games because um, those are the ones that I've never played. That's like the weirdness that reminds me of like how they had the Metal Gear... Was it Metal Gear Solid 2 remake on, on the 3DS and like you find Yoshis all over the place? That's uh, that's uh, Snake Eater. That's the same game. It's just the 3DS version. I, I think that's really dumb fun because it's like all serious yeah. and... and dramatic and then it's just Yoshi's over there eating grass off the floor or something like <laughs> <laughs> that's that's wonderful but yeah that's uh snake eater 3d mm -hmm. yeah so uh what would you uh what would you do with it then dave if you were to bring that back well i would go again going after what i said about activision they, they set up a perfect formula you remake the games that's already been within the series and then you try and add on to it with a fourth one Mm -hmm. um, which I think that's the route that they're going to probably take with Spyro. It would be the smart move to do. Please. Um, so I'd make a new game, trying to pick up where it last left off, in a sense. And then for uh, new gameplay, I, I think I'd add multiplayer. I don't think there was ever any kind of multiplayer mode to it. So I think it'd be cool to like throw in party games and be like, uh, set up matches where you challenge each other to see who can catch the most monkeys and all that kind of stuff i like that would you have like any co-op aspects to it like we could explore oh yeah all definitely together i, I and, like, think uh, i think that monkey. yeah yeah i think that would also play into a big role with the the whole campaign doing it co-op would be pretty fun too and i know this is your thing but i just had like a really like fun idea too like almost yeah. like um it's almost like a sort of like prop hunt maybe but not oh, like yeah, that quite would be cool. but like basically like the second player or like any number of players like maybe like a three more Become players monkey. max are monkeys yeah and they yeah. have to like blend in with the other monkeys and like trying to get caught and they can help yeah. the other monkeys by like giving them things and like they could be cool like a yeah no that would be cool so an ape escape prop hunt man yeah, versus monkey man versus monkey <laughs> I, I, that would just be super fun, I think. Like, cause it, that'd be like um, I haven't played much be, of Dead actually, by Daylight. That would be more like one person's um, the human, the other people are the monkeys. That would be more away. like uh, that would be more like Guess Who in um, Gmod, where you it's a map. There's a certain amount of hunters, and then there's a bunch of NPCs, and you disguise yourself as one of the NPCs, and you have to like, like you have to act like an NPC. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess the goal would still to be catch all the monkeys, but maybe yeah. when you catch the player monkeys, they become players and they have to help you catch the rest of the monkeys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or something. <laughs> Could be cool. Like, they're slower than the player, like the regular monkeys, so it's like, if they can't really run away, but they have to try to, like, use the, the tools at their disposal to keep the player away or... Yeah. Stuff like that. Or hide from the player, like, in, in clever locations. <laughs> it could be cool. That would definitely be cool. That'd be fun. So Dylan, tell us how you would fix 3D All Stars. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy Two. Well, <laughs> Galaxy Two. Well, but Dylan, Dylan, we are getting our fix. Here's the thing: they're fixing the camera. Yeah, yeah. in like a month. Why is it taking so long? Wait, in a month? I thought it was in a week. Is it a week now? I think when they announced it, it was like a month away, wasn't it? Yeah, that was last. That was in the middle of October. So we're getting it next week. All right. Yeah, I'm not All gonna right. talk about 3D All Stars today. I don't want to. I want to have a good day today. So we can talk about Mario 35? I like that game. I honestly can do. We, I think it's cool. It, it also goes away in March. I or know. after March. I know. Uh, what about Fire Emblem? I don't care. <laughs> does, the entire does the entire Nintendo Switch library go away after March? It does, I believe. <laughs> yep, Super yep, Smash Bros. Ultimate will be phasing out of reality that, that, in March 31st. Yes! The Switch? Oh, the Switch will Sorry, no longer premature. exist. It'll fade from existence. I would cry if my Switch disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> you're just looking at it while you're playing. You're like, oh, you're having a good time, and it just vanished. <laughs> it's just slowly fading away. Like, <laughs> you're like, oh. no! No, come back! <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Mr. I, Mr. Hey, you're Iwata. Okay. You're all right. You're okay. The Switch. <laughs> Oh, oh god. Boy. But anyway, um, so this is interesting because my thing isn't like the full franchise is dead. Mine is like like one like subcategory of the franchise has been dead for years, and I would really like to see more of it. Mm -hmm. I think I know where this is going. Uh, where do you think it's going, Frank? Mario and Luigi. No, actually. Okay, good, I was about. Guess. I was expecting you to. I was actually expecting Paper that. Paper Mario's actual RPG game. <laughs> <play. laughs> 
No, I mean, I, honestly, that's good. I don't think Mario and Luigi's been dead for too long, though, because, like, that game, the, the Bowser's Inside Story remake came out in, like, what, 2019? But that was a remake that killed that it. One. It was a remake, but it still was a... Th I mean, like, it's... The series existed up till... Th but anyway, <laughs> the thing I'm thinking about is uh, Mega Man Battle Network. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's another one. one. I was also thinking about Star Force, but I had less ideas for this specifically, because I felt uh, Battle Network has... I think it has uh, more possibilities for this specifically because Star Force was um, very different story-wise. Because uh, if you guys haven't played it, Mega Man Battle Network is one of the first like Mega Man games I ever played, and it is basically like a, a weird real-time RPG series where you select your attacks on the battle screen. And then you go into the, the combat, you use your chips, and then you have to wait for your custom gauge to fill up again so you can get more chips to keep fighting. And now, those are for your more powerful attacks, and when you're in battle, you can actually shoot, like, you your use Mega Buster. Or you can, or yeah. you can, I think you can even charge your attacks, right? Uh, you can charge the Mega Buster, yeah, but it doesn't really, it's gonna do 10 per hit unless you have, like, uh, Navi parts equipped that make it do more. So or it's, if um, you, um, yeah. I, I played the third one, so I played the hell out of the third one, and, um... You eventually get different upgrades where one of them is like instead of it being um, just one shot, it's like a row of fire or something. It, it really just depends on where you are in the game and how and what ability yeah. Mega Man has at that point. So. There's a lot of customization involved with it, and that's what got me thinking about this specifically. So there have been rumors lately of something going on with the Battle, Battle Network franchise, the Battle such Network. as uh, a mobile game possibly happening. And this idea I had could really work as either it could be a console game it could be a mobile game but with everything i'm putting into this idea i think it would make more sense on consoles but uh and pc but basically mm -hmm. what i was thinking is you take that universe we do a uh i would say like a slight reboot because the last battle network game ends with the characters growing up and like that's like the definitive end of it because like they have a son and you could continue from there but i would rather continue with the original main characters who are Mega Man and lan his uh, operator so yeah. i would say that you take this you make a a new game new campaign and you don't need to call it Mega Man battle network 7 it doesn't really matter just a new Mega Man battle network game but the real meat and potatoes lies in the multiplayer aspect because there was also a multiplayer in this game mm, yeah. like you could go online with like the ds one and you could fight people online i believe yeah. you can also share chips with people you can trade chips because uh you build your own folders of your attacks that come up in battle which i always thought mm. was really fun and you get those chips from exploring the story and fighting enemies yeah uh, i only remember I, I remember that because uh my brother had uh battle network 3 blue and i had battle network 3 white and there were chips that we couldn't get so we were helping each other out and try to get as many program advances as possible yeah it's like pokemon like the different versions had different chips that you had to trade between them yeah so the the big idea is the main draw is not the story mode per se but instead there is an entirely separate multiplayer section that is almost sort of like gta 5 where Instead, just hear me out. That's that's a very weird statement coming coming from a Mega Man game. No, but no, like, no, I don't no, mean no, no, like no. I, I I I get what you mean. It's it's a very big open world where it's pretty much an MMO where you can connect to other servers and you can join your friends or you can do whatever. And there are missions you can do or tournaments and like real time events. Like because a lot of like the anime and stuff and some of the games had a lot to do with net battle or tournaments. So that could be a cool online feature. But the cool uh, thing is you get to like co-op missions yeah yeah like little raid things like because in five mega man battle network, no, 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 no. Mega man battle network five <laughs> they had these things where it was like liberation missions where you would move through a thing almost fire emblem style to fight enemies and try to get to a boss so mm. you could do that multiplayer you could uh the main draw would be like you, you know player customization so you could customize your own player character and also their net navi and through the story mode, you unlock new chips that you can use in your folders, and new powers, and new, like, navy customization options, so you can really put together who you want to battle as. And I think it could just be a really fun experience, like, even if it, uh, doesn't have, like, a clear end or anything, like, the campaign has an end, sort of like Splatoon. Mm -hmm. like you have a full single player, but then a lot of the bulk of the stuff is... Yeah, you do all these missions and have fun in multiplayer say just mode. Just like GTA, <laughs> yeah, like, like GTA. <laughs> just like GTA. It's got a story mode and it's got an online mode. Okay, so I have an I have a title name for it: Mega Man Battle Network Forces. Yeah, <laughs> Battle, ne <laughs> Battle, ne Battle Battle Network World. I was just thinking about because like 
they have experimented with weird, like, spin-offs in the series before. There, There is one game that didn't come out in America called um, Mega Man Battle Network 4.5 Rail Operation, mm-hmm. where it was not a story-based game. It was just a big open-world thing where you yeah. could run around and things would change according to the time. Like, it was very time-sensitive. And oh, okay. I don't know, like, and you can actually play that now in English. There, there are patches that let you do that and make it play like a regular Mega Man Battle Network game. Hmm. But, uh, because you needed to use available? the real, like, battle chip gate for that. There was an accessory for the Game Boy Advance, which I'm not going to use uh, on an emulator. But it was, uh, um, it was very cool. Like, I, I like the idea a lot. It was just thinking outside the box. And I think, like, something like this could really work. Like, just heavy navy customizations so you can really make it your own thing. And just imagine entering tournaments and just having fun with your friends, like, with your own creations online. Like, I just, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Dylan, uh, I'll be honest, the moment you said Navi customizations, I was like, I gotta make a Forces joke. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you called it something like Mega Man Battle Network World, that'd be perfect. Yeah, something like that, or like... There you go, Capcom, we gave you a free name. Um, you can send us the check or, you know, PayPal it to us. Yeah, <laughs> I just... Seriously, I know that would never happen, but like, oh man, that'd be so much fun. Just, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or if you any know, fan game devs wanna wanna you know kind of <laughs> hit me up. Actually, speaking of, isn't I'll someone write it for like you. isn't a fan remaking the first one? Uh, I don't know if it's still going, but someone was doing a 3D Mega Man Battle Network remake, and oh, I, I still follow the thing. But they just retweet mm-hmm. stuff now, so uh, I, I don't know okay, if it's okay. still working. Possibly. Yeah, but they have the um they have an English patch for the actual remake of that game now that includes the Star Force scenario, so I'm mm-hmm. really not too upset about that remake being cancelled. Like all I gotta do is play through that, I just haven't had time yet. Alright. Okay, so I think uh, unless anyone has anything else to say, I, I feel like we can probably bring this first episode of Lucky Cast to a close. I think we kinda got everything else out that we wanted to. Anyone yeah. anyone have any closing thoughts before we go? Any closing thoughts? Well, I just want to name off the list of games that I have here that I want remade. I know we went with Ape Escape, but just... Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Sly Cooper. I know that's another one that a lot of people mm. want. Uh, me, personally, I want Chibi Robo to come back. I, I feel would like, like to see that. I feel like that, that franchise had the worst like possible time to shine. <laughs> Nintendo did not care about that franchise at all. <laughs> Nintendo really said fuck Chibi Robo before releasing Ziplash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're like, see, this is the this is the game that we want to promote. <laughs> they post that picture of Chibi Robo on fire and they knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> um up next is Croc, which I've heard the developer of Croc wants to remake those games. I like the idea of Croc a lot. I like that it started off as a 3D Yoshi's Island prototype and Nintendo was like, no, we're not doing that, and then they made their own 3D game. Yeah. Up next is a game that I think is getting a new entry, Earthworm Gem. I put Earthworm Gem up there because I'm not too certain if it's going to be a new entry. Yeah, I think it's on like that it's on the new Atari, Atari system thing. or something yeah. that no one's going to buy. Yeah. The last thing I remember... Oh, it'll, it'll go multi-platform soon. Probably. Uh, the, la- the last thing I remember from Earthworm Gem is the HD version on 360. Mm-hmm. Huh, I've never played it. Not even once. It's, it's pretty good. I've played it a few times. There was like an underwater thing that I just couldn't get into. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously Banjo Kazooie. Why he's not mm. back? I don't. I, Banjo and Kazooie. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> why? Only bring back why? Banjo. Yeah, just bring back <laughs> <our> Banjo. <laughs> <laughs> why those games are not released on the Switch is beyond me. I have no idea. Cause like they have that good relationship with Xbox. I feel they like do. they should just make a deal and get those HD ports. But I from feel the like I feel like the, the deal would be is to have Xbox Game Pass on the Switch. I'd be fine yeah, with that. That's better be than fine just having that. those. Yeah. Um, Cause then I get Viva Pinata as well, which I want to play again. Yeah. And then I guess for a fun little tidbit, I, Disney, what are you doing? Why, why, why haven't you guys brought back Disney Infinity? What are you doing? Really? <laughs> That's not something I expected to hear. Yeah. No. I, I think know, it's right? it's it's an interesting concept, and we could explore more of the Disney universes. I really like the. Uh, it, isn't that that game where uh, you can also make your own game modes and some? I think somebody told me they made their own version of Splatoon in it. Yeah, I think I think, I think yeah. so. I think it's it's okay. a, like big like Lego Dimensions. Like, yeah, thing, yeah. It's, it's like Disney it's like characters. a Skylanders thing, but Disney. A b- better comparison, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I had so no, many I of those figures, ended, but I never um, played the game. <laughs> I think that ended after they released the Zootopia characters. I had uh, Sully and Jack Sparrow. That's it. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, that's that's the list. <laughs> yeah, I guess if I had any runners up, I would say Mario and Luigi. Even though that's not long dead, it's just probably dead. Probably. I would just like that to come back. Um, and Star Force as well, <laughs> which yeah. is another Mega Man thing, but. I would just like another entry in that. Maybe not the proposed one that was supposed to be four, because I wasn't crazy about the leaked plot. But, um, yeah, stuff like that. Frank, you have any, uh, Hey, any Nintendo, when do we get an F-Zero on the <laughs> Switch? Never. Captain Falcon died. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't mean that Super Nintendo one. When do we get in a, real, a new game, huh? <laughs> Cowards. Uh, Kirby Air Ride, too. I, I want... Oh, no, uh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Either HD or a uh, second game. Where is it at, you cowards? Come on. I would just like to Come on, Sakurai. <laughs> Come on, Sakurai. <laughs> It'd be cool if they consulted him about it. I don't know if he made that one, honestly. No, you know, I don't know. I just I was under the like... impression that he did because the the menu it's UI is so just... similar to Smash. Yeah, yeah Smash it looks very it took, Smash. Like, direct inspiration from that. Yeah. And like they and just get him at... Smash Run is the same thing as City Tour. Yeah. So they just go. They just get him in a Zoom call. And it's like it's time. It's time. It's Smash time. Brothers six, and he's like, no. Kirby Unless he's Air really Air. been <laughs> wanting to do an Air, Air Ride, Ride game, HD. and they're like, no, make more Smash. I think that would look really good in HD. Honestly. I would just. I've seen. Really like I've that. seen gameplay events like, ooh, that would look so nice. <laughs> hmm. All right. I, I, like I, I would say uh, HD remake of the games to see if people would be interested. Of course, Kirby. Uh, F-Zero not so much, but you can kind of gauge interest with it and then go with a sequel mm -hmm. or some kind of new version of it. I wonder if that's what they did with Luigi's Mansion, the remake, because they were like, here's Luigi's Mansion again! And then people were like, yeah! And they were like, and, and here's Luigi's Mansion 3! Huh? <laughs> yeah! Except you're in a hotel! Except it's not a mansion, <laughs> you idiot! Luigi's Mansion on 3DS. Remake or Rebrick comes out and just completely tears it apart. It's like, <laughs> uh, okay then. <laughs> He's right. It was a lot worse than the GameCube one. Yeah. It looked better, but jeez, was it bad? I, I legitimately wanted it just for the sake of having, because I've never beaten the first game, and yeah. I don't own it on GameCube anymore. Yeah. But uh, I played the whole thing co-op, and it cuts the frame rate in half. Oh gosh. I was Ooh. like, how? Why? F Fifteen FPS. Let's it go. It was ridiculous. <laughs> We're playing Ocarina of Time frame rates. Yeah, <laughs> so stupid. Like I, I was like, "Whoa, is your thing running real slow?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah." Stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we kept disconnecting. Like it was a uh, terrible port. Like yeah. just play the original again. Use a texture God. pack. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think that's uh, that's all we're gonna have for today on Lucky Cast. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. If you like this, feel free to tell us down in the comments what you liked, if you like the structure, or if you like what we had going on. Um, feel free to give us more topics to talk about. I'm sure you will talk about Sonic, and we will ignore you. Yeah. And, and let us know, would you simp for Impa in Hyrule Warriors? <laughs> <laughs> Better yet, would you simp for Impa? Simpa what? for Impa. I get, that is two things I'll during this podcast out. that I was not expecting to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, for those who would simpa for Impa, don't worry, I, I understand. I I understand. Just saying. I would too. <laughs> All right, the truth has come out. <laughs> we will, uh, we will see you guys next, next time on Lucky Cast. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.